Hi guys, welcome to Inside Iona Entertainment. I'm Josephine and I'm usually breaking down hot topics and some of the craziest stories in Hollywood for you. But to ring in the new year, I invited Eddie Mafia to join me in a Valentine's Day edition of our Entertainment Rundown. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Tuesday, January 23rd, saw the announcement of the 2018 Oscar nominations. The awards were announced by Academy President John Bailey alongside Tiffany Haddish and Andy Serkis. The Shape of Water earned itself a Best Picture nod and is the most nominated film of the year, with 12 in other categories. Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk also on the top of the list, alongside th three billboards in Ebbing, Missouri. Historical genres were also popular with the Academy this year, and Darkest Hour, The Post, and Mudbound were also nominated. Three fan favorites made the list with Lady Bird, Call Me By Your Name, and Get Out, each earning themselves a nod on the Best Picture list. These last three speak to diversity with Get Out tackling racism, Lady Bird celebrating female relationships, and Call Me By Your Name sharing a story from the LGBTQ community. Could this be a response to the Oscars So White hashtag that went viral last year? Katie Mulligan spoke to our student population about who would take home the award. Hey there, Iona. I'm Katie Mulligan with ICTV, and today I'll be getting students' opinions about the 90th Oscars. Today I'm here with Chelsea. How are you doing, Chelsea? I'm good. Good. Um, now, what year are you, Chelsea? I'm a sophomore. You're a sophomore. Now, tell me, Chelsea, do you plan on watching the Oscars this year? Um, probably. Probably? Yeah. Do you know any Oscar-nominated films? Uh, I really have high hopes for Get Out. What was your favorite scene in Get Out? I really liked the ending. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give it away. Now, I heard there's two uh, different endings to the film. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I did. Now, tell me, which ending did you see? The cop car where his friend comes out or when the police officer comes out? Uh, the cop car. The cop car? So you hope that uh, Get Out will hopefully get some nominations and hopefully win this year at the Oscars? Yeah, I really hope so. Awesome. Now, tell me, do you think Harvey Weinstein will make a guest appearance this year at the Oscars? Ugh, I hope not. <laughs> so I'm here today with Simone. How are you, Simone? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Now tell me, Simone, are you planning on to watch the Oscars this year? I definitely am. I'm very excited for the list. Now I know Jimmy Kimmel's hosting the 90th Oscars again this year. How do you feel about that? Are you a big fan of his? I'm such a huge fan. I love this show. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what he has up his sleeve this time. Now if you could, besides Jimmy Kimmel, if there was another celebrity you would want to host the Oscars, who would it be? Mm, probably like... Chappelle or something. Yeah, he's really Probably. Funny. <laughs> Thank you, Simone. No problem. Have a great yeah. day. Okay, so today I'm here with Farrell. How are you doing, Farrell? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Now, Farrell, do you plan on watching the Oscars this year? Uh, I usually don't, but I'm going to look into it after seeing the Best Picture nominations. Nice. Now tell me, Farrell, the Grammys this year um, were known for being male-dominated. Do you think that's going to be the same result for the Oscars or vice versa? Uh, after looking at the nominations for the Oscars, I think that there's a lot of more gender diversity, you say, and after looking at the movies, I feel like there's films that have good chances of winning that would bring more diversity into the results. Definitely, and tell me, do you have a nomination that you hope to win? I've seen trailers of multiple movies, but the one movie I've actually watched in full was Get Out, so I think that is a good chance. I thought that was very interesting and kind of disturbing plot, but very good movie. Definitely. Thank you, Farrah. So I'm here today with Anna. Now, Anna, have you seen any of the Oscar nominations this year? Yes, I have. I've seen about four. I've seen Get Out, Dunkirk, The Post, and Lady Bird, which are all really good. All right, nice. Now, what's your fave? Like, who do you hope to win Best Picture? I have a feeling Get Out's going to get it because really? it's so good. I really do like Lady Bird, though. I'm hoping that that gets the Best Picture nomination because it's just so raw and real. Definitely, but I also have heard that The Shape of Water has uh, a lead way, being that the Golden Globes, they won all those awards. So I have a feeling they're going to win Best Picture, but we'll see. <laughs> that, that or I've heard three billboards could win too. So it, it's, it's kind of a throw. We'll see what happens. Definitely, definitely. Now, how do you feel about now that the Golden Globes with this Time's Up movement and like the Grammys and now the Oscars, they were dressing in all black to their Time's Up pins to white roses. How do you think the Oscars is going to show their opinion on this movement? Um, I think there's definitely going to be some sort of, you know, either a pin or a rose or something. I'm not sure if they're going to do all black again mm -hmm. because I feel like people plan their Oscar dresses, you know, so long. Yeah. But, you know, who knows? So I think it's def there's going to be some, I definitely, I don't think they're not going to do it, but I think they're going to do it in a different way. We'll see. Yeah. 
Looks like there's a lot of great nominations this year for the Oscars. Only time will tell what will happen in the end. I'm Katie Mulligan with ICTV. Thanks, Katie. It's February and love is in the air. Love and babies. Lots and lots of babies. <laughs> William and Kate, Chrissy and John, Chloe and Tristan, but you know who we can check off that list now? Kylie and Travis Scott. Earlier this month, the youngest of the Kardashian clan revealed her pregnancy through an emotional video after leaving fans skeptical for months. She's not the only one in her family that was busy, though. Kim Kardashian was sending all of her haters and lovers her new perfume, and you bet Taylor Swift was on that list. She celebrated Valentine's Day a little bit early this year with the launch of a new collection of perfumes called Kimoji Hearts. And it sold out within a matter of days. <laughs> For some, it has been a great year, but less so for others. We have fallen in love with celebrity couples, and sadly, we had to see some of them come to an end. Eddie and I will take a look at these lovebirds in our first ever celebrity makeups and breakups. First, the makeups. At the top of our list is Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. After breaking off their engagement in 2013, Miley and Liam are back on again. A source tells people, quote, Miley is beyond happy to be engaged to Liam again. We could not be more happy for the couple, and it certainly makes our rom-com dreams come true. At least, mine. <laughs> we have to admit, Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard have great chemistry, but long before they became one of the most admirable couples in Hollywood, they did briefly split because Shepard admitted he wanted to date other people. Bell tells Pop Sugar, quote, I always remind him of when he broke up with me. Tough love. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> After eight years of marriage, Chris Pratt and Anna Faris called it quits. Guardians of the Galaxy actor filed for divorce from Faris back in December, citing irreconcilable differences as the reason behind his decision. Pratt took to Facebook with a heartfelt message, quote, We still have love for each other, we'll always cherish our time together, and continue to have the deepest respect for one another. The couple share a five-year-old son. Nice guy. Modern Family star Julie Bowen has separated from her real estate investor husband after 13 years of marriage. Exact details have yet to emerge, but People Magazine has confirmed their split. They have three children together. 13 years is a long time. Long time. Inside Iona is excited to announce a change to our format. We will now be producing separate videos for separate segments, so be sure to click through in the playlist to watch the next one. Thanks for joining us on this very special edition of Entertainment News. I'm Josephine. And I'm Eddie. 